Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys. You're finished, Four Fingers. Like they say, it ain't over till the obese female Antarian glob knocks warbles. Freedom and wheat, or whatever you things do. A good job. Come to Papa. Zero comestible, actualized by the gastric gymnastics of bacteria. Whoa, Hoss. You said we was getting frozen yogurt. This is frozen yogurt, you ninny. I wouldn't be too sure about that. Ah, aren't our going well? Good command decision, even... If you do say so yourself, as I was positive you would. Look, Captain. Free peanuts. One bowl for me, and I am saving one for Spider. Gorg, Gorg! That was an entire division of Flurbian infantry! I'm sorry. I did not mean to eat you. Hello? Oh, great. Now look at my uniform. I'm sure they understand and forgive Gorg. Most intelligent beings in the universe are sensitive to the feelings of others. But I... Be a lesson for you. Next time, do not presume to pick the pocket of Captain Logo Thrix, who has traveled the vast wasteland of Petaquadron, traversed the Infindibula, and circled the black hole of Atuklak. Adulation will be tolerated. And as always, free kisses for the ladies. Peanut, they're free too. No, Captain! They are my friends! No matter. I have already received a gift beyond all hope. Man, what an operator. I thought he was Eric. Is our brave captain jealous? Jealous? A good soldier doesn't... Captain, what is jealous? Well, it's, uh, it's an emotion when you feel uh, somebody has something you want. Does it feel good? No, it does... Uh, how would I know? Look, I've never been... Jealous. Unusual life form, Captain. A silicon-based epidermis, an old-world monkey prehensile appendage. Meaning Mr. Pastyface has got a tail just like Shaolin's. Hmm, funny, I didn't notice that when he came in. I want my ship! I told you, I don't have it. I lost it to that little furry creep over there. No one gambles with the Lago against one. That is unfair. True, Gore, but it's none of our... Oh, your girlfriend's got a tail just like Lagos. You guys must be his crew. I am nobody's girlfriend. And I'm nobody's crew. The rank is captain, mister. What? Nobody does that to my bro. Nobody does that to my captain. You guys just mess with the black hole gang. And I just called an emergency meeting. Current membership in the black holes hovers around 8 million, give or take an inmate. Yo, check please. I suggest we leave this place, Captain. This is not our battle. Check, it's Lagos. Let's flip out. Thank you for your assistance, Capitan. May I ask for one small additional favor? 
I had a feeling this was going to happen. Once again, thank you for delivering me to my home world, Capitan. Yeah, just keep your nose clean until we drop you off, Lago. Take it your Capitan does not care for civilian passengers. He cares even less for pirates. And what is your opinion? I... I... Yo, Lago! Check it out! Beamatron booty! Baldarian head flax! Legal tender in the seven solar systems of France! You know, little friend. What I'd really like to see is the spacecraft you won from that black hole ruffian. Hey, nothing easy. So I see. Now, about the spacecraft. How about a little business arrangement? Spider, would you play with my new Magna Ball with me? Excuse me, but we have already fulfilled the ship's quota on small glowing balls. So, Amscray up the bay. Not now, Gore. Me and Lago are talking high-level business stuff. Spider likes Lago better than me. All speed to the bridge. We're under attack. Lago's little black hole buddy's caught up with us. Prepare to peel off. Captain, climate unit separation is currently inadvisable. The board's gone all kablooey. We're too easy a target. Do not fear. Luggles here. <laughs> I can aid with repairs. Negative, Lago. Splitly's the only ape who can... It's your trans-paradoxical rheostat. And voila! Have at those villains, Capitan. Primate stations. Primate one, go. Primate two, go. Primate three, go. Primate uh, four, go. I made five. Go. I am six. Go. Kill him. That's one down. Only one, Captain. Let me show you how a pirate does it. You let that polecat do my job, you mucky turncoat? <laughs> I would not expect you to comprehend the bond between brilliant minds. Black holes are breaking away and leaving the vicinity. Why, of course they are, Capitan. Please. No applause. Well, if you must. I've got a few questions for you, mister. First of all, how did you know how to... Oh, uh, forgive us, Lagos Ricks. Our captain is more comfortable giving orders than offering thanks. Uh, right. Thanks. They still say something about that guy just doesn't add up. That's the deal. You get what you want, and I get what I need. Are we of a mind on this? Need you ask? <laughs> ETA to planet, three minutes, 15 seconds. Not a second too soon. Avast ye, gorilla matey. What do you think, Gore, buddy? 
All the better dressed space pirates are wearing them. I think it makes you look... Yeah? Yeah? Stupid like Largo. Why haven't you recalibrated the old boat as I requested? Why don't you get your diggity dang big brain buddy Largo to do it? In all my travels and adventures, I have never seen any treasure as beautiful as you. You are a goddess. Thank you, Lago Thrix. It is rather a pleasant change to be appreciated. Yo, Romeo! Touchdown in 60 seconds, you're home. Not quite. of my humble abode. Sorry, got a universe to save. I have things to do. We got a heap of work waiting. I, for one, would be ecstatic. Well, you're not one, banana brain. Sorry, opera season, you know, but my cousin Emil would love to. I apologize for the rudeness of the others. I will at least walk you to your door. Me too. Some monkeys just don't appreciate savoir faire. What the monkey loving? Monkey hating, actually. Well, well, well. There's nothing as convenient as home delivery, Largo. A gentleman always makes good on his promises. You turned us in? What a mook I am! You used me, Lago Thrix. And now I will use you as a punching bag! Yeah! Sorry, Goddess. I had an excellent teacher. That wasn't very smart, Capitan. Maybe not, but it was fun. You don't have a lot of brains, Simeon. Fortunately, I do! Ow! Get this grotesque organ off of me! What's the matter, Mr. Wizard? I thought you liked hanging around with big brains. Oh! Brain freeze! Don't you just hate that? You lied, Lago, and you stole my friend from me. That's not all I am stealing. I want to enjoy my latest production, Space Monkeys on Ice! Well, now that you've thawed out, just relax and enjoy the hospitality of my summer home. Because when I'm done with you, your brains will be running it! You're quite a pirate, Largo. You stole more than our ship, didn't you? Indeed, Capitan. Your strength... Dr. Splitz's knowledge, Splitz's mechanical aptitude, Spider's agility and cunning, and Shaolin's fighting ability. Perhaps her heart, I think. Do not flatter yourself. My heart is theft-proof. A greatly overvalued organ. Come, Largo. Nebula awaits. Never touch me! We may have had business dealings. But I want none of you absorbed into me. Congratulations, Lago. 
you do have some standards. Uh, come on. You don't want to keep Lord Nebula waiting. He gets cranky. What was that? You want to be pals with that pirate mook? No, nope, I just gave him the best the universe has to offer. And exactly how will your pride and childish vanity help our predicament? This room is definitely you, Rhesus. Just some place to relax my mind. Have you secured the private adventure, Rhesus, too? Yes, Lord Nebula. We will begin teardown immediately. Find the secret of the anti-force hidden on the ship and eliminate the space monkeys. Ah, this itching and chafing. Do not fail, Rhesus 2. I am just in the mood to reduce you to a pulpy mass. Lord, have you considered calamine lotion? <laughs> What say we have a little mindless fun with the... Largo? Largo! I do not understand this. Why have you freed us after betraying us? Alas, I fell victim to your Capitan, absorbing his strongest attributes. Which are... My dedication to duty and absolute loyalty to my crew, of course. Actually, it was his pride and childish vanity. I was not about to let Rhesus too use me to destroy you. So, Marco, betrayal seems to be a habit with you. Since you want to lie down with monkeys, you can die with them too! <laughs> contact with Rhesus long enough to absorb something, besides a few disturbing images of frontal lobes and tweezers, I managed to learn about the building's security system. Keep alert, crew, and head for the ship. Next time, touch someone with eyes in the back of their head. I'll keep that in mind, Capitan. They're escaping! All brains to the anti-spacecraft weapons! We'll blow them out of the sky! Lago, quick! In the ship! We're clear! No. Somebody must stop Rhesus too from shooting you down. And who better than me? You're a good monkey, Lago. I do what I can. That's just what I would have said. I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm afraid he's... Toast? Oh, no. Before he saved us, I wished Lago would be hurt. Well, that's your first lesson in what jealousy is and what it does, Gore. It is a very bad emotion. My spaceship! Lago took it! How did he smuggle it out? That monkey-loving pirate boosted one of my Demetrons! Is he great or what? Uh, oh, uh, I never cared for him. Well, I kind of liked him. Toward the end? Hey, buddy, how about a little game of magnet ball? Make that a three-way game? No way, actually. I had nothing to do with it! No, 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 really! I, I mean, I rather like the detestable little ball. 
No, they won't rob them. Pussy, but I would never do... Why are you all looking at me? 